what is up guys karma medic here and welcome back to another dose in this video i'm going to be taking you along on my emergency medicine elective at a major trauma center here in central london i've already been here for two weeks and it's been very exciting i've gotten to do a lot and see a lot so come along with me for the week and let's see how it goes I feel like I have a lot of things to tell you about, both of what has happened in this elective and also what I'm going to be doing. I just don't have time. So I think what I'm gonna do is just gonna head inside, get started and stuck into the day, go see some patients, examine them, and do all the rest of the stuff that we medical students do, and then I'll catch up with you guys later, probably when I have a lunch break. So enjoy and peace. <laughs> At 11 a.m. on a Monday, we have teaching with all the other students who are placed at this hospital in the emergency department for this rotation. So this hospital falls under the group of hospitals that's with Imperial Medical School. So all of the other students here are going to Imperial, except for me, who goes to KCL. And so every week, anywhere between one to three medical students present their cases of anything interesting that they've seen during their time in A&E. This is really useful because it gives us an opportunity to ask consultants and registrars questions that we might have about these cases, and is also good opportunity for us to get better at presenting our cases and our patients to our seniors. After that teaching, I headed back down onto the wards, stuck myself to the F2 who I've been with for a little while, and went to see another patient. All right, very solid morning, time to grab some lunch. All right, so that is the end of my morning in ED. It was quite interesting. I mostly followed just one or two patients because they were quite complicated and needed a lot of investigations and then a referral and for that specialty team to come in. So it was kind of one patient over a long period of time, which is kind of good because you also get an in-depth understanding of their condition and what's going on. I'm not gonna take a quick lunch break. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna work on my cannulation skills because it's something that's been really bothering me and I keep practicing, practicing, practicing and I wanna get very good. I don't wanna be a doctor in a couple of months and not be able to do cannulations fairly easily. So I'm trying to practice as much as I can now to make sure that I get it down. Anyways, whilst I've been here in this hospital, one of my favorite places to go eat is my favorite Greek place in all of London, which is called It's All Greek to Me, and it's like literally around the corner, so I go there as often as I can. Hi there, good afternoon. I received an email um, asking me to make an appointment following my recent blood results. <laughs> just booked an appointment that I needed to get done. And now, ah, this food reminds me so much of home. Look at that beauty. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Gonna wolf this down and then get back to the hospital. All right, back into the hospital we go. All right, I'm home. So that was overall a little bit of a slow day, I think. Mostly just did history taking, no practical procedures or anything like that, which obviously also has its place and is something that I need to get better and better at and keep on practicing. I did meet a trauma and orthopedics registrar the other day, and he said that I can come see him in theater anytime and help out with their surgeries and things like that, which sounds very exciting. I need to wake up or I need to be there at 7.55 in the morning. So let's see if I can find the courage and energy for that somewhere later on in the week. Anyways, for now, I'm just gonna sort of undress, unpack, unwind, grab a little bit of something to eat, and then I will catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Okay, so if you've seen my last vlog, then you know that I wrote the last written exam of my time here in medical school. That's my mental straw for my coffee. And so the only things that I have left are one OSCE exam, which is the practical exam, which you guys see me, Kenji and Georgina practicing for all the time, and then one prescribing exam as well. Now, because of this, I haven't been doing too much traditional medical school studying in the evenings after my placement. I've been trying to just relax, lay back, play some video games, and just enjoy these last months of freedom that I have before I eventually have to start working as a doctor. But I am doing some prep for that prescribing exam with the help of the sponsor of today's video, Sketchy. Now, I wanna make one 
one thing abundantly clear, there is no way I would have performed as well as I have throughout my time in medical school and on my USMLE step one exam if it wasn't for Sketchy. Genuinely, I owe such a huge handful of marks on most exams that I've written in medical school directly to Sketchy. You guys have seen me use Sketchy over the last couple of years in my really long study with me videos, in my videos prepping for the USMLE step one exam, and in my random vlogs here and there as well. Sketchy is an online platform which takes all of the incredibly complex and difficult subjects that we need to learn and converts them into a well-written and clever cartoon story. In doing this, they create all of these crazy memory hooks and fun and interesting ways to remember all of this information. Till this day, whenever I get asked a question about microbiology or pharmacology on the wards or on my exam, I literally picture in my head the sketchy cartoon and then use that image to figure out the answer to the question. This has been particularly helpful when consultants are grilling me on a ward round and the fact that I'm able to quickly recall that piece of information is 100% thanks to Sketchy. So let me just show you. Here on my notability on the left hand side under USMLE studying, I have an entire section dedicated to Sketchy Farm and Sketchy Micro. I've taken a screenshot of the cartoon image and then used it to annotate everything about that image here on screen as well. So if we take a look at any one of these images, let me find one that I'm actually really like. So this is a good one. This is for the loop diuretics, okay? And this is quite obviously represented by a big loop over here for the loop of Henley. Now, if you look closely on each one of these images, there are numbered parts of the image. So let's find number one, 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 one. There, one loop for the loop of Henley, number two, two, showing us where we are in the nephron, and then three, bananas for potassium, and then four, the ATPase machine, potassium ATPase machine, I mean, I, I remember so much just, just from having done this ages ago. So then from this image, you watch the video and you can annotate what each one of those numbers means and what each part of the image represents. So if, for example, we go over here to number, I don't know, 10 and 12. So 10, I believe she was holding ice cream, if I remember correctly, and uh, 12 is magnesium. Now the ice cream, I don't remember what that was for, but magnesium, this was showing that you keep the magnesium magnet inside the loop of Henle, and so it gets excreted in the urine, if I remember correctly. So number 12, as a result, magnesium, oh yeah, ice cream was calcium, cannot be reabsorbed and stay in the lumen. This is literally how I remember. I think of this image, and then I get the information from here. Anyways, I'm getting way too passionate about Sketchy Medical. You guys get the point. Now, largely for the most part, I haven't had to review these again because I've memorized most of the information from the very first time that I wrote them, which says a lot about how well these memory hooks and these cartoon stories work. But since I do have my prescribing exam coming up, I'm going over the Sketchy Farm content. I'm going over all of the different drugs that we use in medicine, the infinite amount of drugs, and trying to refresh my memory on all of those, especially the diabetes drugs. Where are those? Those are so hard to remember, and these images really help me a lot. The medical section is split into clinical and also preclinical, which you see here, and that contains the microbiology and pharmacology, which you've heard me talk extensively about, but it also has things like pathology, biochemistry, physiology, and anatomy. Then, of course, on the clinical side, you've got all of internal medicine, cardio, resp, gastro, endo, everything, surgery, peds, obs and gynae, you name it, they have it. And one more thing, they've also got a really big and successful MCAT resource, which I absolutely wish that I had back when I was taking the MCAT in 2015, 2016, I think. They've got 235 lessons covering everything from biochem to physics to chemistry and more. Sketchy also has quizzes that help you identify gaps in your knowledge and then fix them. And of course, all of their answers come with fully comprehensive explanations and even review cards that help increase your memory retention if that's your thing. And if you aren't a medical student, don't worry, Sketchy still has you covered. They've got entire resources for both PA and pharmacy as well. Now, honestly, I don't think I've ever ever been so proud to endorse a brand on this channel. Sketchy is a service that I really believe in and I have seen make significant results in my own life and I think it would for you as well. If you want to check out Sketchy and see all of these resources for yourself, you can visit the link that's on screen right over here that is also in the description down below. All right guys, so I've got what I need, a nice bowl of grapes over here, and some sparkling water, my favorite. And yeah, I've got the sketchy notes over here for pharmacology. And then on the right, obviously my conditions list, I'm gonna open it to pharmacology because that's where I have all the information on all the different drugs that we need to know. And yeah, time to just get to work. I will see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right guys, so that is it. 
I did all my studying. I don't know when you're watching this, but when I'm recording this, it is February 14th, so Valentine's Day. And so I'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the night. I'm gonna give Alexia a call and we're gonna have some quality time together, watch something together, just chill, relax, and enjoy our night. All things I'm not going to film for this camera. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace, have a good night, bye. But what I can show you is my delicious, delicious dinner. So let's check that out. Yum, what do we have here? Salmon, broccoli, tomato, potato. Mm. Call me Chef Medic. Peace. All right, guys. Good morning and welcome back to day two. So yesterday was largely a history taking and examination day for me. I didn't do many practical procedures or skills at all. And so today, that's what I think I'm gonna focus on the most. In AE, if you go to the triage area, which is sort of the first place where patients come in when they come to the hospital through AE, then they often get a generic set of bloods. So they'll usually need a cannula placed. It's a good opportunity for me to practice that skill. So I think I'm gonna go there today, focus on that, and see how we get along. I know that I said it was going to be all procedure based today, but that didn't happen in the end. I was honestly just having too much fun in majors, going to see the patients, taking their histories and trying to figure out what was going on. Today, everyone seemed really complicated and a lot less straightforward than some of the other days that I've had here. But anyways, learned a lot, met a couple of really nice doctors um, who helped take me in and took me under their wing, teaching me what they know going with me to examine patients and take their histories and things like that. So I found it very useful, possibly considering it for a future career, but who knows, it's honestly too early to say. I, I don't really have dedicated plans in mind. Anyways, gonna head home, catch you guys later. Peace. All right guys, so it's a couple of hours later now. I had a bunch of YouTube behind the scenes administrative stuff to do, so knock that all out. And I was about to sit down and chill and relax for the rest of the day, but then I remembered that it's gym day. I'm going to the gym about every other day now. I just do push, which is chest and triceps, then pull, back and biceps, and then leg day. And then I slap cardio in there somewhere in the middle whenever I feel like it. There's something about being a final year medical student where you are finally sort of given the respect by the other members of the healthcare profession and they are really invested in teaching you and letting you do things and they take your opinion seriously and everything like that. It makes going into placement so much more exciting and you know, you feel like you're actually playing a role in the healthcare team. I love the description of being a medical student as you're always in someone's way because it's very true <laughs> for a lot of the time you're a medical student in clinical placement, you really just feel like you're getting in the way of other people doing their jobs. But because medicine is such a practical sort of career, it really relies on other people teaching you and showing you and demonstrating things to you and it's it's just integral to you know how medicine works so you always feel like you're in the way until you get to the point where you can be actually useful all right guys good morning it is 8 44 in the morning and as you can see i'm not in my clothes ready to go to the hospital so today i've decided to stay at home for the morning and then go in for the afternoon evening sort of shift and the reason for that is twofold so the first of which is that i haven't had sort of downtime relaxing fun time for two days in the evenings and that is not okay with me as you guys know, if you watch this channel, I'm a really big proponent of having balance in your life. So making sure you do all the hard work that you need to do, go to the hospital, do all the studying that I need to get done, etc. But then also make sure I exercise and actually just relax and have fun so that I can be happy doing both and not just do one without the other. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that anytime you go to the emergency department or you have a clinical placement in A&E or whatever, everyone tells you the same thing, which is don't come in in the morning, come in the afternoon and the evenings or for the night shifts. And the reason that they say that is because the people who come to a &E in the afternoons, in the evenings, and in the nighttime are people who really need to be there. Otherwise, they wouldn't be because it's extremely inconvenient. And so you tend to see things that are more serious, that are presenting more acutely, etc. On top of that, because the hospital is not as well staffed, in the evenings and overnight as it would be in the morning and maybe early afternoon, you get a lot more responsibility and you get to do a lot more, see a lot more and be involved as part of the clinical team a little bit more. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to be chilling at home up until about, I think midday, maybe one o'clock. And then I'm gonna go in, spend the afternoon and early evening in the hospital. And then I have dinner with my friends planned tonight. So I'll take you along with me for the whole thing. Now you guys very well might be wondering, Nasser, what are you gonna do with all this free fun time that you have today in the morning? First things first, I'm gonna go through my emails very, very quickly 
don't judge me. I just want to get them out of the way, get them out of my head, so then I can move on to do the actually fun stuff. And at the top of my party list today is to go through my Discord, the Karma Club Discord, and read through every single channel, make sure I'm caught up on all the messages, because you guys have been really active in there recently and typing a lot, so I need to make sure I, I catch up. I love being a part of it. I love interacting and reading it every single day. And yeah, just being a part of you guys' life in this uh, Discord community. If you guys want to join the Karma Club, if you want to be a part of this Discord community, I'll leave links on screen here and in the description down below. You can sign up to my Patreon, which then gives access to the Discord, and you can join all these lovely people, study with them, chat with them, talk to them, and me. Anyways, without further ado, we've got a nice, fresh cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. All right, let's open up those emails, bang them out, and then move on to actually fun stuff. This shouldn't take long. All right guys, so all done catching up on the Discord server and I'm now gonna sit down and play some video games. Now, as you guys know, I play a decent amount of video games, some with my sister, some with my friends from high school, and then rarely, rarely, rarely some by myself. Now, generally I'm really bad at doing things by myself and it's something that I'm trying to work on and improve at, get better at spending time with my own thoughts and with myself and being comfortable doing that. But generally speaking, if I ever want to watch a movie or if I ever want to play a video game or something like that, it has to be with someone else. Traditionally, I've never done those things alone. And so kind of for the first time in a very long time, playing this game has actually allowed me to just sit down by myself and be fully immersed in the game, not think about everything else that I need to do or be distracted or feel the need to check my phone or anything like that. I've been able to actually sit down and enjoy myself, have fun, relax, etc., which is great. <laughs> so I'm trying to do as much of that as I can in my free time, learn how to better relax lay back and enjoy myself in the thing that I'm doing at this moment. I'm gonna sit down and play for like an hour or so, just do something random. And then we will go to the hospital and continue on with the rest of this vlog. Quick little video game fun time interruption, but I'll see you back for medical school stuff in a bit. Peace. All right guys, so I'm feeling rested, re-energized and ready for an afternoon shift in the ED. Hopefully I see some of the same doctors that I went yesterday. They were absolutely fantastic, very, very helpful, helped me learn, took me under their wing. And that's really all I can ask for while I'm on placement. So yeah, I'm excited for the day. Let's see how it goes. And I'll see you guys later. Day three. Let's get it. Back in our favorite spot, the Greek Sublaki place. It's amazing how much you can do and how much you can learn if you just attach yourself to the right doctor. You know, someone who's actually going to take the time to teach you, walk you through the case, examine with you, give you feedback and everything like that. Very, very helpful. Thank you. So yeah, absolutely fantastic uh, day so far. I'm just gonna quickly grab something to eat and then head back into the hospital. I cannot believe this is gonna be my job in a couple of months. Like, it's, it's mad. Instead of sitting at a desk all day, staring at a screen, I get to be in the hospital helping patients and seeing all these amazing, incredible things. See you later. All right, guys, leaving the hospital now. What a fantastic day. Honestly, really, really great. I saw so many presentations that I've never seen before and got to do a couple of new practical skills that I haven't done as well. Tried a couple of cannulas, got some, well, got one, failed a couple. It's a never ending struggle, but I'm trying my best to work through it and just get in the practice as much as I can without getting too in my head about it. Anyways, I'm excited for this dinner. I'm gonna go see my friends, hang out and chill, and I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Coffee is secured, bottle of wine also secured. I'm gonna sit down, relax, and enjoy my night unwind, and then back to the ED tomorrow. All right, guys, and that is it. That is the end of today. What a fantastic way to sort of rest, and relax, and recharge after a long day on placement. I had a great time in this afternoon to evening session. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in in the afternoon and hopefully have another good day. Touch wood. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put something on the TV, watch a little bit and pass out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. So, I spent this morning doing some more prep for that prescribing exam that I was telling you guys about earlier in the week using my good friend Sketchy, and now I'm going in for the afternoon uh, shift in the hospital, and luckily the two doctors who I was with yesterday are gonna be there as well, which I'm very happy about, because I'm excited to do all kinds of interesting stuff. That's pretty much it today, and then tomorrow is gonna be my last day, and that'll be elective number one done. I'll have one more elective, one more placement, and I'm out, Whew. All right, one step at a time, let's get everything done. Transition. Let's go. 
Guys, you won't believe it, but I just did an iliac fascia nerve block. So this is a form of pain relief that you can give to patients who have had a neck of femur fracture or recent knee or hip surgery and are in a lot of pain. And it's like, it's this really big needle <laughs> that you insert kind of in the patient's groin area and it's full of local anesthetic. And then you get into the right plane of the iliac fascia and the local anesthetic distributes in that plane. And apparently gives really great pain relief, but it's really hands-on procedure, something really, really cool. Huge shout out to the doctor that let me do it. Thank you, you're the best. All right guys, just had a quick something to eat. I'm gonna head back into the hospital now, not for much longer, maybe an hour or so. I just wanna do a little bit more and then head home early. I'm gonna take it easy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head back in now. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. Good morning. It is Friday, the last day of my emergency medicine elective. I think one of the best things that I've had on this placement is being surrounded by people who have really taken me under their wing and shown me how to do things and let me do them first and, you know, really give me good, solid feedback to help me improve and help me learn. And the fact that yesterday I did the iliac fascia blog is amazing. Like, I, I still can't believe that I did that. It was such a good feeling. And, you know, that would never happen if there wasn't a doctor there who said, Nasser, you do this. Like, I'm going to guide you through it. You do it first. We'll do it together. Blow up. Blah, blah. I'm just really thankful to be honest it uh, it goes a very long way when a junior doctor gives you that responsibility and trusts you to do something right and so I'm gonna make sure that I do that going forward when I'm a doctor next year I can't wait to have medical students surrounding me and yeah I'm gonna take them under my wing I'm gonna try and teach them whatever it is that I know and whatever I can and make sure that they get that experience first and they get the practice in as well with all that being said I'm gonna run out of the house now I actually have an occupational health appointment for an immunization that I apparently need um, I did some blood tests and they said you need to do an immunization. I don't know which one it is, so I'm gonna go and find out. Then I'm gonna go to hospital and, you know, continue the same stuff. One of my favorite doctors is gonna be there, which is great. And yeah, that's it, final day of this elective. I'm then out for two weeks. I'm flying back to Greece to just relax and enjoy myself for a bit. To just relax and enjoy myself for a bit. And then I come back here and continue with my second elective. And then I come back here and continue with my second elective in rheumatology. That's the big update. I need to put on my coat and get out of here. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. All right, so I'm just leaving my elective for the last time and I bumped into two Imperial students, Dev and Baya. What's up guys? Very bright. Hey guys, how yeah. you guys all doing? I was over there and I was walking, I was like, it's, it's massive. And yeah. I got my phone out, it's like, <laughs> I was like, come say hi. There's a couple of final year students over there celebrating something or the other. Yeah, I guess yeah. they're graduating they're about soon. about to finish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. Yeah. All right guys, so I'm back home. I'm trying to get this TV ready for lunch. My camera died, so I'm gonna continue this on the phone. Anyways, I'm just gonna sit down now and have lunch. And then later today, I'm meeting up with a couple of friends to play mini golf. So I think I'll close out this vlog with some clips of me doing that. And all right. That is it. Without further ado, this brings us to the end of this vlog about my time in the emergency medicine elective in the major trauma center here in London. I've got one more elective and then one more OSCE and then one more prescribing exam and I'm going to officially be a doctor, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully learned something useful as well and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me.